What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? This is Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant Americans, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. And I'm on giving you guys another podcast, you know, doing this podcast thing again, you know. Because let me be honest with you, the reason I'm doing a lot of these podcasts because sometimes, well, I'm going to say it, it, it is, it's more convenient for me to do a podcast because all I got to do is get my video recorder, no, I mean not my video recorder, get my audio recorder, you know, and crack it out and it's a file, it's like a, it's like an MP3 or a, What's what's the, what's the I forget the micro Microsoft Microsoft version of it, you know. And I just crank it out. So today I'm gonna give you guys a little lesson how I handle how I handle these little internet uh, skirmishes. Like if you go on the internet now, people unfortunately take the internet to the extreme. They take it to the point where it's super secret serious to them. You know you can't have a, a you know, a differing opinion, or else they want to go, they want to go ape shit or something, you know, like, me personally, if you don't agree with me, it's not going to ruin my day one way or the other, we, we just have disagreements, I understand that, and that's where critical thinking comes in, because a lot of these folks, you know, they get so wrapped up in, in YouTube, it's like, they don't have any critical thinking, like, I know on my, I know for myself, I've been, you know, I, I've been, you know, threatened because of my opinion. I've been this and that, and like, but at the end of the proverbial day, I don't even, I don't even feed into that because I'm not worried. Because I'm like, I come from the bottom. You know, we come from the dirt. You know, if it's that much of a problem, why didn't you have? Why don't you say something about? It? Speak on it. You know, they'll they'll do their little. Their little whining and crying, their little, their little threatening, and and we're like, whatever, man, it's whatever, whenever, you know, because I don't get to, I can never, I can't, I personally can't see. How can you get to the point of you get so jerked off at somebody's opinion on YouTube that you literally fall apart at the seams? Number one, that shows your weakness. That shows that you can't handle it. And number two, that shows that you should never debate anybody or have any entertain any thought of debating anybody because you can't handle the argument. If you can handle the argument, hey, I'm all for it. Cool, go for it. But whenever you see people start with the old, you know, dry threats and this and that and the fifth, you know, you know they're weak. And I try to stay away from those people because, first of all, they're mentally unstable. They probably have a history of fucking mental illness. Number two... What, what does it serve? What does it serve by me arguing with somebody who's like that? Number one, I don't get into it with people who have a disagreement with my opinion to begin with. Let alone someone who wants to go off on a tangent like that. So I'm just trying to tell you, because, well, let me, let, me, let me back up. A lot of you folks on YouTube, particularly, like, in all these other social media type deals, you think when you see a video or somebody's tweeting at you, you think that you're magically all of a sudden your friends. You're like, oh, he's a, we're cool now. I know, and you don't know. You don't know me. I could be some psycho crazy killer that got like a bunch of bodies in my, you know, closet or something. Well, first of all, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put bodies in my closet. And I'd put them in the ground. Let's, but other than that, you know, you think, you know, you think you know people. You don't know people off of YouTube or any social media. Like if I know them, that's one thing. But if I don't know them, I treat them as such. I treat them like, hey, look, man, you know, I appreciate, like, if, if I went to a certain city and somebody wanted to hang out, yeah, I could probably do that. I have no problem with that, but, you know, I don't really know you that well that we're going to be like, hey, we're buddies, you know, we're best friends, give me a hug, you know, let me, let me 20 bucks, you know how they do, but uh, that's the problem. A lot of it is lack of critical thinking, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but the horse keeps coming back to life for some reason. You know, there's a severe lack of critical thinking involved, and, and that's the problem. Like, me personally, if I disagree with somebody's opinion, I won't make a, I'm going to put it in the comment section. Uh, back in the day, I, I, I'll do a video response if I feel like the topic is, like, such a such a important topic to be talked on. That's how I looked at it as. 
Well, I'm just gonna do no video, video responses to a video response. That's crazy. But uh, you gotta learn that uh, not everybody's gonna like your opinion. If you can't handle what you know, what somebody's saying, maybe you need to like you know exit stage left. You know, if you can't handle it, get off the internet. Period. Because people are going to have differ differing opinions, and you might not like what they say. Hell, I don't like a lot what a lot of people say. But like I say, at the end of the proverbial day, it's you know you you got the right. If you're an American, especially, it's your right to spout off. You got the freedom of speech. You know, this, that freedom just doesn't extend to the right for you to yell fire in a crowded movie theater, but you know what I'm saying, so. I gotta go. I got stuff to do and women to do. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I got stuff to do and women to see. All right, man. I'm out of here. Peace.